Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from TheRightTrader.com here, back today with another price prediction video. Today I'm going to be going over PIVX, which is one of the up-and-coming privacy coins out there. It's currently ranking at the 28th spot based on market cap with a market cap of 219, almost $220 million. It's having a good day today, but that's irrelevant to this video, so you know I'm not even paying attention to that. Just briefly to get into some of the fundamentals of this company, I'm really not going to go into too much detail. You know, you can check their website out if you want to know more about them. They're, they're actually um, quite professional, which is always good to see. Their Reddit community is of a pretty decent size, you know, now almost 4,000 people, uh, relatively active. So, you know, nothing to worry about there. It should grow even more in the next couple months. And, you know, like it says here, what, what is PIVX? Um, it's basically a privacy coin, you know, proof of stake. Uh, self-governed, self-funded, and it is a community-focused cryptocurrency. You know, they also mentioned that um, on their website here, which, you know, is something that I personally really like because I feel like a lot of cryptocurrencies, right over here, uh, community-centric cryptocurrency, a lot of cryptocurrencies tend to forget about the, the actual end user of, of, you know, what is supposed to be a cryptocurrency, which is, you know, just everyday people, I guess you could say, instead, of, and then sometimes focus too much on corporations and stuff which doesn't make much sense to me, right? Because at that point, is it even really a cryptocurrency in, in the sense that it's supposed to be, you know, used as a currency, right? So nothing to worry about there with PIVX. Uh, everything is fundamentally fine from a first point of view, at least. So like I said, I'm not going to go into massive detail, but nothing to worry about there. Now, getting into some of the numbers here on PIVX. Well, first of all, let me go over uh, the past 24-hour volume a little bit on the lower side, this isn't like the best thing to see, but you know, it's it's uh, forgivable. And this is just the past 24 hours, so of course it fluctuates, you know, sometimes it's a bit more, sometimes a bit less. But I would like to see it grow a little bit, you know, in the future, because this is a little bit on the lower side for its market cap. But like I said, it, it's not the end of the world, right? Otherwise, circulating supply, a, a very nice low number over here, 54 million coins. So that's always great to see, right? Lower supplies. You all know that I like low supplies because of the scarcity that it creates and it automatically increases the value of the coin pretty much. So uh, that's more good news on that part. Otherwise, currently at just above $4 here. So, you know, it, it broke above $4 today, I guess. And that's, that's uh, you know, fine price. Nothing, nothing to mention there. But getting into the chart here, which is where I'm really going to dig into some of the details. Um, the coin entered the market uh, back in February 2016, right? Very flat action, you know, just maybe a slow and steady increase, but very slow. It really just pretty much picked off maybe around uh, February, end, end of February 2017, right? It really just exploded and a massive increase, right? This was a, a cryptocurrency that was worth only like still pennies, you know, just a couple months back and is now worth dollars. So that's a massive increase. And although the growth growth has been like huge, it actually is relatively slow and steady, you know, at least from a price action perspective, very healthy trading action compared to some of the other cryptocurrencies out there, right? We have nice um, spikes, but then, you know, a pullback, a little bit of a trench pullback here with some consolidation and then it slowly moves back up spike you know same thing over here it's been doing this now for about three times in a row and uh, we're currently sort of on the 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 spike here so as per usual you know I always give my price predictions for the next couple months out then the next two years and then the next five years so where do I see this coin heading well just to get into the uptrend here you know as long as this uptrend holds, I'm not going to be worried about anything on this one. I think it'll keep on growing. And, you know, this is, I think, going to become one of the much more respected privacy coins. You all know that I like privacy coins, uh, privacy cryptocurrencies, because of the, you know, they, they really fulfill a need in the market for people who want to remain more anonymous and stuff. So, you know, they have a sort of a guaranteed clientele right there and user base. But to compare to some of the other cryptocurrencies out there and where I think this one is going to be heading. We have to look at some of the other privacy coins. Zcash right now, 500 million. Basically, I expect PIVX to move maybe toward, uh, you know, $10 in the next couple months. So, you know, about a 100% increase there, moving towards $8 probably in the next couple months. For the next two years, though, I think it can go much higher. 
probably getting into sort of the same range as Zcash, uh, a bit more actually, I think. So, you know, moving maybe towards 600, 700 million, if that's fair to say, you know, about a 300% increase, let's say, for the next two years. And, you know, I think that it can also move up afterwards for the next five years to Monero levels, right? Where, you know, I mean, this, this could sort of be one of the next Moneros out there, no doubt about it. So, you know, Monero worth 1.5 billion about right now. I think PIVX can move up into that range. So about a 700% a increase um, would be possible, I think. So yeah, that would be about a $28 coin, you know, about $30 for uh, one coin. And that's sort of where I could see it heading in the next five years. So definitely double digits. And, you know, nothing really to worry about on this one. Everything seems, you know, upstanding. Good price action, good fundamentals. Nothing really to worry about. I like this cryptocurrency. Let me know what you think of PIVX, where you think it's heading. I'd be interested to hear that. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more cryptocurrency content. With that being said, everyone, I appreciate you watching this video and have a nice day. Thanks for watching.